It's Monday. Yeah. What is going on, guys? It is your boy here, Ocean. And today I'm going to be going over two new features in the OS Buddy client, which was known as the Orion client, but they just recently actually just switched it to OS Buddy to kind of match what their website was called, which was the OS Buddy. So that's really cool. But anyways, the two features I'm going to be going over today and kind of giving you guys a tutorial are on the quick hop this little thing up up here and then also the screenshot gallery now a lot of you guys might not have this enabled by default so to get started we're going to go into our settings really quickly here and there's a lot of things you can do in here you can really customize the way you want to uh, use this client which is actually really really cool you can just you know customize it and personalize it to to the way that suits your gameplay the way you want to play obviously and you're just gonna have to go through all these tabs kind of like what I did and just kind of customize it what you want what you don't want and, and stuff like that but what we're going for right here is the screenshot gallery and I think this is actually turned off by default because I actually didn't know this was in here until I actually found it in the settings here so yeah if you click on your general tab there's a whole lot of things you can and you can do here you, you have you can set up your authenticator high scores and, you know notepad which is really really cool one of my favorite features of this client and you also got the quick hop so this just allows you to, like it says like it says here allows you to seamlessly hop between worlds so just make sure you have that turned on so I can show you guys what that is all about and then right underneath there is screenshot gallery which you can use to manage your captured screenshots and of course you want to have this on here now if you actually click on the settings icon here you can actually change some stuff up here so you can click the link to open a new URL you can keep the window on top I have that off so basically keeping the window on top is means that the window will always be on top there and that if you minimize anything else whatever you have up here the screenshot gallery will stay on top of your screen you can open last taken screenshot i have that on and you can sort by descending date personally i have that off but if you want to kind of sort them by date you can of course uh, toggle that on so the first one we're going to cover here is the quick hop so this is actually a really cool feature because this tells you the latency basically of these worlds and which world is best for your uh, connection you know whichever region you um, happen to be living in you know if you're living in in the uk or if you're living in germany or if you're living in the u.s you know which server is best to connect to which is going to provide the best connectivity the the least latency and latency basically means how long it takes in action in game to come back and visually be like apparent on the screen like you know the actions taking place like for instance uh, you know fishing for lobsters or even better like I was I was training my thieving a couple days ago and I was stealing silk from the silk stalls and basically that would be you know the respawn time like that and how fast that responds and how quickly you can click on the the silk and get into your inventory basically that's what a latency is or ms so basically what you're looking for here in order to find the best world for where you're living is the lowest uh, ms for me like a lot of these are you're going to see are free to play worlds the lowest one here is like a free to play world so obviously um you don't want that you know so the the grayed out ones or the white ones are free to play worlds and the orange ones of course are pay to play worlds so and you can double like it says here you can double click to change worlds, which is actually really really cool so for instance if i wanted to hop on world i don't know 311 for some reason i can just double click on that as you can see here you don't even have to log in again <laughs> you know that's it's so awesome it just like switches and you hop worlds just like that what did that take like two three seconds i don't know something like that really really pain painless and and this is one of my favorite things about uh, the os buddy client is just they keep making these cool features like this you know if you're just you know using the normal website you'd never be able to do this like this feature just isn't there you know you would have to actually manually log out you know put in your username and password back in and then you know switch to the world you want to and then click but this you can just double double click don't even have to log in and switches you um, instantaneously which is actually really really cool but like I said before you want to look for the lowest one so personally for me I found world 360 or 346 I believe to be the best here let me see if I can find that one yeah 346 is 16 
Now, in this case, 345 is actually 14 ms, so that actually will be better because, again, you're going for the lowest one here. But generally, 346 is the best for me. Now, it may not be for you. Obviously, you're going to have to look through here and try to find the lowest one. But for me, that is a 340 or 343, 445. We'll so we'll switch to that here just really quick. Literally, it takes like three to four seconds and bam, I'm in world 345. Really, really easy. Now, the other thing I wanted to kind of go over is the screenshot gallery, which is uh, also pretty awesome. So this was a screenshot. Let me just kind of move over this. This was a screenshot I had taken of one of the quests I just completed. I've been doing a lot of questing lately, and I'm going to be coming out with a new progress video very, very shortly here, as, as soon as I make some more gains here. But I've been doing a lot of questing, and um, just a lot of quests that I just have to get out of the way, basically. And one was the Nature Spear quest, and what's really cool with the OS Buddy is this actually, this feature has actually been implemented, I think, since they kind of introduced screenshots and all, all, all that kind of thing. But basically, it will take screenshots automatically for you. You don't even have to do it. I mean, you can if you want to, like at any point in the game, you can come up here and you can view your screenshots, but you can also take a screenshot like that. You can just click on the screenshot and you can, uh, you know, change it. So if you want to capture the whole entire client, you can do that. Or if you just want to capture your game screen, just capture that and kind of, you know, you know, omit this this whole client you can do that as well i have that set up like that so it will go we'll just capture the game screen and i don't want it to capture the entire client necessarily but if you go back to the screenshot gallery here if we pull that back up so like i said before it, it captures screenshots for you automatically so like level ups uh, clue scroll clue scroll rewards you know, when you open up a clue box and you get your reward, it will automatically take a screenshot of that, which is really cool. Level ups, it automatically saves every level up here. So I'm just going to go through some of my, some of the things it's taken, you know, automatically without even me having to, to, to do it. So that's pretty cool. If we open up levels here, you can see all the level screenshots I, I've taken. So, you know, that is really, really cool. So you can, you know, you can mess around with this, like I said before. This is really all about, you know, personalizing it to the way you want to work and and basically the, be the most efficient for you. And so, you know, I can show you guys how to do all these things, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to go through the settings and customize it to the way you see fit. But uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. I just wanted to get o go over these two pretty cool and amazing, you know, new added features that they added into the OS Buddy as of late. And like I said before, I'm going to be getting the pro version of OS Buddy very, very shortly here. And then I'll be able to make uh, more videos about this client. And yeah, guys, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, please uh, smack the like button below so I can know you guys want more of these, you know, sorts of tutorial explanation type of videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Deuces. Keep it real.